All right, this week, let's just kick it off with... Okay, so first up, this is actually, this is not the star of the show, but I kind of feel like it should be. Um, this is really cool. This is a adjustable uh, three amp output, I think it's three amps, is it three? Five, five amp output power supply brick, which even has not only like a potentiometer to change the voltage, but the voltage is actually displayed on the little LED uh, seven segment as well. This is great. This is like my new benchtop power supply because um, it's five amps and now it doesn't have constant current, but maybe you don't need that. But if you have a project and you're like, uh, this one runs on three volts, this one runs on five, this one on six, this one on nine, this one on 12, um, this power adapter can cover it all. Um, so it's got on one end the you know standard 5.5 slash 2.1 millimeter DC jack. Uh, it's a, a positive tip. On the other end, it's got your standard two prong US plug and boom, it's a package. Uh, really easy to use. Um, you know, it, it's, it seems pretty stable. Um, I've used this for like pretty high power LED electronics. So it's more expensive than just a single voltage output, but uh, I really like it. So I thought maybe I'd show it real fast on the overhead. Um, one thing to watch is this isn't an on off switch. It's a uh, voltage selector and the, the lowest voltage it does is like about three volts, 3.3 volts. And then as you turn it up, uh, this is like seven, eight, nine, ten, up to about like 12. Um, and you know, it's not precise. You have to like tweak the knob to get the exact uh, voltage you want. But still, I really like these. I picked one up for myself and I was like, oh, I should put it in the store. Okay, next up. Next up, what are these? Neopixels for ants? That's right, very tall, very tall, very small, very slim NeoPixels. Now you can actually use these in a bunch of different ways because uh, the pads kind of wrap around all the way. You can use them flat, reverse mount, or right angle. Uh, we have two types. We have the flat lens type, which you can see here against um, this coin. The top is, is cut flat. And then um, the next type we have, it's just the same pinout, uh, is rounded. So if you go to the next image, you can see it. It's got a round lens top. Um, so they're the same. It's basically the same, just one's flat, one's round. Um, they're NeoPixel compatible. You know, I've driven them with three volts, but they kind of like five volts. Give them standard NeoPixel uh, data and you've got RGB coming out. So they come in 10 packs and they're very cute and they're very, very, very small. Only four by two millimeters. Tiny. Yeah. So this is the rounded one. Yeah. And, the coin. and that's the flat one. Yeah. I didn't know which people liked, so I just got both. You know? Okay, got next both. up. Next up, uh, a single coin cell battery holder. So um, this little uh, clear snap fit case uh, can hold a single CR2032 three volt coin battery. We already have a similar thing in the store that has two coin batteries for six volts total. This one is three volts. Um, you just pop it open, it sort of snaps open, put in the coin battery as shown here, snap it closed, and then there's an on off switch. Uh, so you can turn it on or off. I thought it could also show this real fast on the overhead uh so yeah you just uh you do have to use your fingernails but this snaps open and uh coin cell goes in here you can use any cr2032 it'll give you you know it's enough to drive like a little led or something um and i like the mechanical switch so i just i just wrap these wires around an led but um you know i thought this could be kind of good for six simple crafting projects Okay, next up. Okay, next up. Um, so this is like kind of new, but it's now in stock, or kind of old, but now in stock. This is the official Raspberry Pi 4 compute module um, antenna kit. So uh, we don't yet have in stock the compute module with Wi-Fi, but when we do, uh, this antenna kit is the official antenna kit that you can plug in um, to increase the range and is the one that the module is tested with. So if you're doing certifications, it'll be easier for you to get through the certification process when you're using the exact same antenna that the module was spec to work with. So here's how it will plug in when we have these compute module with Wi-Fi. All right, next up. Next up, we have a STEMA QT update. Um, so this is the MLX9393. Uh, one of our favorite high-powered magnetometers, as shown here, uh, it's good with magnets. It's not good for detecting the magnetic field of the Earth, but it's really good for detecting the magnetic field of magnets, which are like really powerful. It goes up to uh, 50 microtesla, whereas like most 
Uh, magnetometers, I think, like top out at like 10 or something. So this is really good for high magnetic field sensing. Um, we've just updated this to be STEM IQT compatible. Uh, we have code already for Arduino and CircuitPython and Python. It's just now plug and play, uh, really easy to use, and in our standard STEM IQT size and format. All right, and the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady our community, our customers, and our team is? The updated 1.54 inch e-ink display. Now it's a 200 by 200 pixel display. So uh, this looks a lot like the tricolor e-ink we've already had in the shop. So what's new, um, instead of 152 by 152, it's now 200 by 200 pixels. So more pixels. Um, it's the same physical size. It does use a slightly different chip, which I've handily labeled here on the part so I don't forget it, the SSD 1681. Um, the previous, uh, 152 by 152 uh, has been discontinued. It's, I don't believe I'll be able to get any more of those displays. So I recommend people, you, this is a mechanically uh, identical um, e-ink display, but you'll have to update your drivers uh, for the new SSD 1681, but we've got code for it. And it's other than you know changing your code and recompiling it for this new chipset, it's the same size, same shape, same functionality, but with more pixels. So tricolor e-ink, but high def. Okay, and with that, it is new products. That's right.